The Australian Institute for Infectious Disease is a visionary initiative. It will be state-of-the-art in design and provide the very best facilities required to develop a response to a pandemic. This is a $650 million project of which the Victorian Government is proud to be investing $400 million. It will be housed in our world-leading biomedical precinct in Parkville. This is an ambitious program to be more than the sum of our parts and to function together to deal with things better than we have in the past. The concept design is purpose-built to bring us together, to allow people to work collaboratively to solve these complex problems. The facility will house more than a thousand experts in infectious diseases and pandemic response. The facility will also house part of the new coming Global Centre for Pandemic Therapeutics. And in addition, it will provide the Doherty Institute 50% more space for our scientists. For Burnett, this is momentous. To be physically joined up with the Doherty and the University of Melbourne in this way, we're super excited. This is a paradigm shift for us. The key features of the facility include, first of all, significant expansion in high containment capabilities to work safely with pathogens that are highly infectious. We're also going to have an imaging capacity, breakthrough approaches to developing drugs to vaccine developments. We'll have a human infection challenge clinical trial unit that allows us to test the efficacy of new diagnostics, vaccines and therapeutics and will be one of the largest units in the Southern Hemisphere. We're also going to have robotic biobanks. The accurate storage and capacity to retrieve hundreds of thousands of samples. We hope to capitalise on the revolution in genomics, our ability to barcode germs to know how they traffic through communities, but also focus heavily on data and modelling that's required for a public health response. And convergent zones, areas to allow collaboration and also co-location with industry. This is a very big project, there's a lot to do. We have just all approved the concept design, the high level design of what will go where in the block and stack. We have to actually demolish some buildings, but construction will start in 2025 and we should be done by 2027.